Shalom to the hopeful elect of Israel, the so-called Latinos, the so-called blacks, the so-called Negroes, the so-called African Americans, the so-called Caribbeans, the so-called Native American, spread across the four corners of the world. Shalom is your brother Malak. First and foremost, we lift up the name of our power. The power of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. His name is Yahweh. That's the power. That is the name that our forefathers call upon. And we mightily glorify the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the beginning and the ending, the Alpha and the Omega, the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. The root and offspring of King David. The one who is coming with all the angels, coming in his glory. It says, all eyes shall see him. His name is Yahweh Shai. The only one that was able to take off the seal from that book to give us the understanding of the gospel, the good news for the Israelites, the ones that were under the law. Salvation again is for Israel. That's right. The remnant and the elect of Israel. All praises, honor, glory to our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai family. It's going to be a quick lesson. But family, the thing with the Lord is nobody gets away with anything. Mm -hmm. And nobody gets away with anything. Eh? Yes, the queen died at the age of 96. Yes, the headline said, We won't mourn the Queen Elizabeth death. She never acknowledged slavery. Other atrocity Britain committed across the world, say South African group. Yes, it was during her reign, family, that's when the apartheid was going on in South Africa. It was during her reign, Nelson Mandela was locked out, locked in prison for 27 years. Yes, they colonized mostly where our people live. That's right. The West Coast of Africa, all the way to the Caribbeans. That's right. The Hebrew Israelites spread across the four corners of the world family. This queen reigned over us. But family, we have understanding now. We know that the Lord did that for a reason. Mm? That's the thing. Before, we didn't know why. But now that the Lord opened our eyes, family, we are not upset. We don't want no reparation. I mean, don't, 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 get, don't get me wrong. If I wake up in the morning, there's a million dollars by my door. I will gladly say, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rukwa Kodash or praises on and glory. Yes, I will take that million dollars. But family, we are uh, we've stopped protesting. We stop asking for justice. No, 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 no. Family, we stop all that. We are not part of any group. The truth, we are our soul dependency is on our power. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, the only name that we call upon. We don't want no reparation, no family, because we know that the Lord is just. Nobody's gonna get away with anything. Hmm? Family, let's open with the book of Ecclesiastes. Yes, I said the Lord. Nobody gets away with anything. Eh? All the atrocity that you have committed, you're going to pay for it. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes and let's, on, let's give glory to our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. Verse 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Verse 7. It says, then shall the dust, mm -hmm, the dust return to the earth as it was. Yes, she will be buried. The flesh becomes dust. Eh? And the spirit, her spirit, family, the spirit is forever. You understand me? It says, the spirit shall return unto the Most High who gave it. And we ask yourself, why, what, what? What, what, what do you mean? Yes. When you die, your spirit go back to the Lord. Yes. And family, let's hear what the book of 
Ezra. Let's go to the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 14. Hmm? Verse 34. Therefore, if so be that ye will subdue your own understanding and reform your hearts, ye shall be kept alive. And after death, listen to this, after death, ye shall obtain mercy. Because family, sometimes it doesn't matter how wicked you were on this planet. When it comes to the Israelite family, the Lord loves us. But it's a possibility that after all the nonsense that we have done, when we die, that's when the judgment comes. Because family, the spirit goes back to the Lord. Let's read here, verse 35. When your spirit returns back to the Lord, then the Lord passes judgment. And every third or fourth generation, you come back as a child. That's right. That's why sometimes you see some ch children, you said, man, this child look like it's an old soul. Yes, family, the spirit lives forever. This is not your first time here. But let's read it. It says, verse 35. It says, For after death shall the judgment come. So when you pass away, your family come around you, everybody cry and do all whatever they got to do. Yes, you bury it. Your flesh become dust. The spirit goes straight back to the Lord. And here it says, For after death shall the judgment come, when we shall live again. Because after the Lord judges you, no matter what it is, the Lord could say, Okay, your next lifetime, you're going to have what? You're going to be born with no arms. Mm -hmm. You're going to be born with one leg. Yes, that, that's judgment. Eh? You're going to be born with one eye. That is judgment. And then you come. And then you serve it in a new body. Family, is that clear? So yes, the queen is dead. But family, it is the Lord that's going to judge her. For everything that she has done. And yes, she's going to be born back into slavery because that is their next, uh, that's, that's their next destination because the Israelites are going on top. Yahweh Shai is coming to redeem his elect. The elect, the Israelites are going on top. The moment this kingdom crashes, Babylon the Great falls, America falls. Yahweh Shai's kingdom is coming. Yes. And the Edomites, the so-called royal family, yes, they are going into slavery. So yes, the queen will live again. It is the Lord that judges. Yes, we don't know what her judgment is, but we know that she will live again in a new body. The spirit is forever. It says, for after death shall the judgment come. When we shall live again, and then shall the names of the righteous be manifest. So if you are righteous, you die, you go to the heavens, your spirit goes into the heaven, and then the Lord passes judgment unto you, and then you come. If you are righteous, you're going to remain righteous. If you're wicked, you're going to remain wicked. It says, and here, and then let's, let's read the entire verse. 2 Ezra chapter 14, verse 35, it says, For after death shall the judgment come, when we shall live again and then shall the names of the righteous be manifest and the works of the ungodly shall be declared so if you were wicked if you benefited from slavery yes all the stolen precious metals from africa to build your kingdom we sit back it is the lord that judges you so yes the queen is facing the almighty power Yahweh. that's his name and his only begotten son Yahweh Shai because remember the Lord said, said, said what I have given every judgment unto my son I judge nobody that's what Yahweh said it is Yahweh Shai is, is the, Yahweh Shai is the one judging the queen mm? yes all praises to our power Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai it is he Yahweh Shai the so called black man that's right, the so-called black man is judging the queen. We thank the Mosai Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai for revealing his secret to us. The Israelite. This is all about Israel. All the prophets, yes, all the apostles, they were all Israelites. 
They were all from one of the tribe, the 12th tribe of Jacob. The Lord is not the author of confusion. He's not bipolar. Salvation is only for the elect of Israel, the remnant. Yes, the queen will live again. But family, let's continue. Let's get the book of Numbers. I have a couple of articles and we're going to get into it. But let's glorify our power, Yahweh Bahashim. So you get a proper understanding. Nobody's going to get away with anything. No. The queen is dead. Her spirit is with our power. That spirit is going to be put in a new body. Let's go to the book of Numbers. The book of Numbers 14. Mm -hmm. The book of Numbers 14. Verse 18. It says here. The Lord is long-suffering hmm? and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty. Oh, he's not going to clear you. Mm -mm. It says here, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. That's right. The third, fourth generation, you come back again in a new body. Depends on what you did in your previous life. Judgment is passed and you come and serve your judgment in your new body. The spirit lives forever. Zephaniah. Let's go to the book of Zephaniah and family. We will bring out the word. Zephaniah, it says here. Mm, the just Lord. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 5. It says, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. He says, every morning that he bring his judgment to light. Eh? He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Uh, the Lord says judgment every day. Family. That's why I said there are spirits created for what? Vengeance. And in their in, in, in their fury, I can remember it's something in somewhere in Ecclesiastic as 20 39 verse 28 and down. Yes. So the queen family, he is the her spirit is in the heavens. The third for the third dimension is in is in the heavens. The Lord will keep it. Yes. And yes, she's gonna be born. That spirit is going to be born into her family line. Third or fourth generation. She's going to live again. She's going to serve her punishment on this planet. The earth endures forever. Let's get that. I think somewhere in Ecclesiastes. I could be wrong, but let's try it. I think somewhere in Ecclesiastes, it says the earth endures forever. Let's, is it 12? The earth endures forever. Please bear with me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. The earth abides. It abides forever. Ecclesiastes. So Ecclesiastes one four. I should have known that. Ecclesiastes one verse four. It says here, one generation passeth away, and another generation come. But the earth abideth forever. Yahweh Shai is family and his kingdom is not going to be flowing up in the sky. The heaven is going to be here. It's going to be Yahweh Shai's heaven on this planet. Everything is going to be righteous, family. Hey? I don't know what they're teaching in the uh, plantation Christianity. But family, heaven is going to be on this planet. The book says what? The earth abideth forever. It is going to be rejuvenated. It's going to smell nice. Hey? Eh? You're gonna, your food is actually going to taste like food. Your water is going to be clean. Family, the animals are going to be at peace. They're not going to be at the zoo where people are going to pay money to go see them. No. The animals are going to be free once again. And there ain't going to be nobody eh? using the animals as sports, just shooting them just for the sake of what sports. No. Family, Yahweh Shai's kingdom is going to be righteous kingdom. That is what is coming. And we're praying that the Lord will have mercy on us, the hopeful elect. 
That's why we pray that we are the first fruit in the kingdom. It's going to be a beautiful kingdom. And the king is going to be among us, family. And his kingdom is everlasting kingdom. Let's bring the article. Family, I don't want this thing to be long. Let's get to, let's get to the article. So, yes. Yeah, so, family, the queen shall live again in a new body. And she's going to serve her time. It says here. You can tell that, family, not everybody is so sad and mourning the queen. Family, we know their history. But family, we are at peace in the sense that, family, when Yahweh Shai says, you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free, we are free indeed. We are not upsetting me because we know what is coming for the elect. Lord willing, we are part of the elect. Now we are at peace. We don't need your money. We are not protesting. We're looking for equal right No. You know that Yahweh is coming to establish his kingdom. And that's why you're seeing what is happening around the world today. Starting with the famine, the rumors of war. Yes, the third world war is coming. And yes, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Because Yahweh Shai, the Lord has declared it. It is coming. It's just a matter of time. Eh? They know, they say the devil knows, uh, Revelation 12, 12, that what? He has but a short time, so he's coming down with great wrath. The great wrath is what? The CHIP that they want to put under your skin. Collapsing everything and what? Introducing the digital system. Yes. But family, I'm here to tell you that if you take that thing, the Lord is going to kill you. Not just regular kill, family. It's going to be with what? Thermonuclear fire. Yes. You're going to stand on your feet and you're going to melt. That's the kind of heat that the Lord is bringing. That's why we are here to warn you. That depart. This is not your rest. Your king is coming in his glory. And we are here blowing the trumpet. Warning the elect. This is all about the elect, the remnant. Because we know Zechariah 13, 8. That two thirds of our people that are living on the north, America, are going to be destroyed. Among also the ones living around the world. There will be a multitude saved, yes. The majority of our people are going to die. The family, I don't know about you, but I don't want that kind of heat. It says, we don't mourn Queen Elizabeth death. This is from, what is it? I got this from. This was published on the 9th. Sahara Reporters. It says, we won't mourn Queen Elizabeth's death. She never acknowledged slavery. Other atrocities Britain committed across the world, says South African group. Following the announcement of the Queen's death on Thursday, the group in a statement made it clear that it will not mourn the Queen, who many, especially the West, Westerners, regarded as Queen of the World. Mm -hmm. That's right. Family, they lived deliciously, eh? Benefited from slavery, colonization. Yes. The family, like I said, we are at peace now. We know the truth that it was our power, Yahweh that gave us into the hands of this nation to serve them, mm -hmm. to punish us. Because like I keep saying, whom a father loves, he chastens. That's how much the Lord loves us. Because anytime we go off, he sends us into these captivities. You can go back and look at the history. From Persia, Medes, to Babylonian, to Greeks, and uh, to the Roman Empire, this is our last captivity. So family, that's what the truth does for you. The truth indeed set you free, your mind. Because family, even recently, our people were what? Following Black Lives Matters. Hmm? If you go back and, and dig history and find out who's, who created Black Lives Matters. It's the same oppressor. George Soros, yes. They benefited from seeing us in a deplorable state. That's what the truth does for you. It set you free. We're not following those groups anymore. Now we are back to our father. That's why it says, being returned, seek him ten times more. And he says, they that make a mention of his name, hold not your peace. Until what? Until he make a Jerusalem a praise on this planet. Jerusalem is going to be a praise once again. Jerusalem are the Israelites. The elect of Israel. The Lord is about to glorify us. That's why we're never going to stop praising our power's name. Family, that's the riches that Yahweh mentioned in one of his parables. 
This is the true riches that we have. Family, we are not worried. We are sitting back and waiting on our power. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh It says here, an economic group in South Africa under the aegis of economic freedom fighters, EFF, has expressed its disdain against the late British Queen Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor and her ancestors over their roles in colonization of African countries and other parts of the world. Following the announcement of the Queen's death on Thursday, the group in a statement made it clear that it will not mourn the Queen, who many, especially the Westerners, regarded as Queen of the world. The Westerners are so-called Edomites. Family, the Lord, there's no certain as white or black. That was a social construct created in 1681 in Virginia. That's it. The Lord created nations. He named them. Eh? But the moment they took over, they blinded the whole world. They made their face the Son of God. They made their face the power of Israel. That's right. The whole world has been turned upside down. That's why Yahweh Shai is coming. Eh, to make things right again. It says here, EFF in the two-page statement jointly signed by its national spokesperson, Senawo Tambo and Lee Ann Matis, and its national communication manager, C. Zolisi Gilishi, condemned the late queen, saying she spent 70 years living and sustaining a brutal legacy of the dehumanization of millions of people across the world. Hmm. The nail on the head. We had the nail on the head. He said the group said, if need, if indeed there is a life and justice after death, Queen Elizabeth and her ancestors must receive what they deserve. Yes, there is a judgment. I read it to you. The body goes down to the grave. It becomes dust. The spirit goes straight to the power that gave it. And every third generation. No, it goes to the spirit and then you judge. You receive your judgment and every third generation to the fourth generation. You come in a new body. It's that simple. So yes, the queen will live again in the new body. So she will receive her judgment and you she will serve it. This time a thousand years of slavery. That's what is coming for the Edomite, that yeah, the descendant of Esau family, that's what the book said. Mm -hmm. It said the statement dated August 8, 2022, entitled EFF Statement on the Death of Queen Elizabeth, read the economic freedom fighters note the death of Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor, the Queen of the United Kingdom, and the ceremonial head of state of several countries that were colonized by the United Kingdom. Elizabeth ascended to the throne in 52, reigning for 70 years as a head of an institution built up, sustained and living off a brutal legacy of dehumanization of millions of people across the world. We do not mourn the death of Elizabeth because to us her death is a reminder of a very tragic period in this country, in Africans' history. Britain, under the leadership of the royal family, took over control of this territory that will become South Africa in 1795 from Batavian control and took permanent control of the territory in 1806. From that moment onwards, native people of this land have never known peace, nor have they ever enjoyed the fruit of the riches of this land, riches which were and still are utilized for the enrichment of the British royal family and those who look like them. From 1811, when Sir John Credock declared war against the Amazosa in the Zuveld in what is now known as the Eastern Cape up until 1906, when the British crushed the Bambata Rebellion, our, inter our interaction with Britain under the leadership of the British royal family has been one of pain and suffering, of death and dispossession and of dehumanization of African people. Family, we've been spread across the four corners of the world. 
when the Lord said he was going to punish us, he wasn't lying. Our people are all over the place. Yeah, we know that the continent of Africa, which is also named after um, I was Italian, Italian, um, Africanos, it was, it, it was, I think, it, I think it was a Italian, Africa, uh, Italian, he was a Roman uh, general. Yeah, Africanus was a Roman general. Sorry, I think I have to look at that. Yeah, I think he was a Roman general. That's who Afri Africa, let me see, Africa, one second family. Let me get it, it's going to bother me. Africa was named after Scipio Africanus, I think. Uh, Africa was named... Yeah, Roman general, Scipio, no, no, sorry, I'm not Scipio, Scipio, Scipio Africanus, okay? It was named after Roman general, um, yeah, it goes to show you, family, are, what the book says, that's why they, they named it, their, their, uh, their name after them, so actually, you know what, let's, let's bring it, so I'll show you that, family, this book don't lie, Psalm, I think Psalm 49, 10, Psalm 49, it says they will name their line after themselves, Psalm 49, 10, it says what, is it Psalm 49, 10? Here, Psalm, Psalm 49, Psalm 49, verse 11 it says, Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Those are the Edomites. They always think their kingdom is going to go on forever. No, 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 family. The book of uh, Daniel chapter 7, the dream that Daniel had, it tells you all oh, this kingdom, this kingdom that's going to be ruling before your house shall count. It's simple, family. It's that simple. We know this is the last kingdom before Yahweh Shai comes. This is it. There's no gonna. There's not gonna be any kingdom. There's not gonna be uh, China and Russia ruling. No. Once this goes down, Yahweh Shai's kingdom is about to be established on planet Earth. That's who we are waiting for. Yes. This. Uh, yeah. This. This is their mindset. It says, "Never, nevertheless, men being in honor abideth not. He is like the beast that perish." It says, this their way is their folly, yet their posterity approved their sayings. That's right. Their children actually believe it too, that their kingdom is going to go on forever. No, the royal family that you see in family, this is it for them. There's a new king coming into town. His name is, good. His name is Yahweh Shai. He's about to establish his kingdom. All the people that you've seen at the top family, they are all going to the bottom. That's right. They are going to slavery. They are going into slavery. Revelation 13, 10. It says, He that leadeth into captivity must go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. The saints are the Israelites. That's right. Let's continue with the article. It says, We remember how Nisele died in the aftermath of the Fifth Frontier War. How King Hassar was killed like a dog on the 11th of May 1835 during the Sixth Frontier War and has his body mutilated and his head taken to Britain as a trophy. This is their legacy. Hmm? It was also the British royal family that sanctioned the actions of Cecil, Cecil John Rhodes who plundered this country. Zimbabwe and Zambia. It was the British royal family that benefited from the brutal mutilation of people of Kenya whose valiant resistance to the British colonization invited vile response from, responses from Britain. It says in Kenya, Britain built concentration camps and suppressed with such inhumane brutality the Mau Mau rebellion, killing Daydan. Kimati on the 18th of February 1957 while Elizabeth was already a queen. This family plundered India via the East India Company 
It took over control and oppressed the people of the Caribbean islands. Their thirst for riches led to the farming that caused millions of people to die in Bengal. And their racism led to the genocide of Aboriginal people in Australia. Elizabeth Windsor, during her lifetime, never acknowledged these crimes that Britain and her family in particular, particular perpetrated across the world. In fact, she was a proud flag bearer of these atrocities because during her reign, when the people of Yemen rose to protest against British colonization in 1963, Elizabeth ordered a brutal suppression of that uprising. During her 70-year reign as queen, she never once acknowledged the atrocity that her family inflicted on native people that Britain invaded across the world. She willingly benefited from the wealth that was attained from the exploitation and the murder of millions of people across the world. The British royal family stands on the shoulder of millions of slaves who were shipped away from the continent to serve the interests of racist white capital accumulation at the center of which lies the British royal family. If there is a really Life and justice after death may Elizabeth and her ancestors get what they deserve. The world was filtered on Thursday with the news of Queen Elizabeth's death shortly after the royal family announced earlier that her health deteriorated. Hmm. Family, let's bring out the precept and glorify our power. It's all about the Lord. Hmm? The Lord said, it's all about our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. These nations are going to know who the true power is. Let's go to the book of Habakkuk chapter 2. Habakkuk, what is it? Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 16, it says here, hmm? this book don't lie. It said, thou art filled with shame for glory. Look at what you've done. The world will look at you. Look at the royal family. Oh, look at that gold. Look at how they carry themselves. But guess what? All the wickedness that you've done is coming to light. The evidence is overwhelming. The Lord, before he judges you, you want to make sure that, listen, he presents his evidence. Eh? This is what the Lord is about to do. Nothing is going to, in family, the world is waking up to who the true royals are going to be. That's right. The Israelites. They are going to be the true royals on this planet. Remember, the earth abideth forever. Our heaven is going to be here, but it's going to be refreshed. Yes, we're going to have new bodies. Eh? We're going to have a new spirit. The laws, the statutes are going to be in our hearts. We're going to be perfect. And all glory, honor, power to Yahweh, The power of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. His name is Yahweh. And he's going to get the glory and his only begotten son. Our power, our king on this planet here. In our midst, our eyes are going to actually see Yahweh Shai. Now, family, you can put, there's nothing compared to that. You can't compare anything to it. I don't care what you say. I, you cannot compare anything to that. Your eyes beholding the true king. That's right. Yahweh Shai in his glory. Family, you guys don't know what is coming for you. He said, "Thou, he said, thou art filled with shame for glory." He said, "Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. Your sins are right before the entire world." Family, everybody's protesting. He goes, "Who cares about the queen? She's dead." Let's go. Let's people are all the wickedness that you have done is coming to light. Yes. He said, thou, he says here, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand. What is the cup? We drank the cup. Oh, yeah, we're still drinking it. We are the bottom. That's right. We serve slavery. That's why we, we build your kingdom. Eh? You build your kingdom. So the same cup that we drank of, you are about to drink the same cup. He says here. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. That's the shameful spewing. Everybody is calling you out. Eh? Everybody you are not royals. No. Everybody is calling you out. You, are in the, you can fool the masses before you can fool us. The reason why you are there, the Lord puts you there. But the Lord is about to switch things around. 
That's the power that we serve. Don't play with the Lord. Now, you think you got that power by yourself? No, 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 no. No. The Lord told you in the book of Daniel 4, eh, 27, I rule in the kingdom of men. Let, maybe let's get that so you, just so you know. Daniel 4, 17. He said, this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high, Yahweh, ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever he will, and setteth up over it the basest of men. Let's look up that word so you know the type of people ruling over you. He says he set up the basest of men. Let's look, let's look it up. Hmm? Whoa. He says here, without moral hmm? principles. Remember the article? Raping, pillaging, cutting people's head off as a trophy. Moral principle. The Lord don't lie. The basis of men. These are the ones ruling over us today. This is what the Lord says. This is not my word. This is the word of our power, Yahweh. He put down. He is the one that put you there. And he said, you are the basis. The lowest of the low. Yes. Of men. Men. That is something. He says, without moral principle. Hmm? Denoting or befitting a person of low social class. Hmm? These are the people ruling over us, family. Let's get another quick article and then, family, we will wrap it up. Let's go to, uh, is it uh, this one here? Yeah, so family, everybody wants, this is here. This is this particular one that I came across. It's a Queen Elizabeth II owns the largest clear-cut diamond in the world known as the Great Star of Africa. The three, no sorry, the 530 carat gem was mined in South Africa back in 1905. It was stolen from South Africa. It has an estimated worth of $400 million. Yes, this is what the Lord is doing. He's putting you on a blast. Mm -hmm. He's putting you on a blast. He gave you this kingdom. But no, man, the apple of his eyes, you treated them like crap. You showed them no mercy. But he says, you, the cup, you're going to drink the cup also. That is slavery and it's coming fast approaching it says can india can india get back the kohino diamond and everything in the british museum that was stolen all the nations are calling you out this is not just africa yeah that's the world largest diamond family the star of africa mm -hmm. it's on her head it's going to be passed on to uh the so-called king it says here, pictured here is the Kohino diamond stolen by the British and now in the hands of their royal family. The British looted an estimated 45, what? 45 million, sorry, I said 45, 45 trillion pound, trillion, family, 45 trillion from India between 1765 to 1938. They looted so much, the, the word loot entered the English language from the Hindustani word meaning to rob. Oh my goodness, family. Everybody's calling you out. Eh? Mm? Everybody's calling you out. Yeah, but family, yeah, this is not coincident. It's all preparing the way for our king, Yahweh Shai, to come and take over this kingdom. Eh? Let's finish off here. Ecclesiastes. I think I went to this again yesterday, but family, that's the spirit, so I might as well go to 10.8. Ecclesiastes chapter, chapter 10, Ecclesiasticus chapter 10, verse 8. It says what? Because of unrighteous dealings. Mm -hmm. Unrighteous dealing. That's unrighteous dealing. Going to countries, pillaging, robbing, stealing, because they don't have the power. Because why? The Lord gave you this kingdom to rule for a period of time. And yes, your time has come for you to go down. And that's why everything is family things are moving so fast 
We can't even keep up with the news. You turn on the news, family, something else is happening. This is all prophecy. The prophecies are jumping off the pages. But all now, glory to our power, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushua. Because family, at one point, nothing was happening. But there wasn't the time. That's why it says, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, it says why the vision was for an appointed time. The vision is the prophecy. But it says, at the end, it shall speak and not lie. But uh, although it tarry, it says what? Wait for it. It shall surely come. Now, family, the prophecies are right in front of our eyes. If you have eyes to see it. Because, family, the Lord didn't bless everybody with this, pro th th this eye salve. That's why, family, this is a gift, man. This is a gift. This is a gift. All praises to our power, Yahweh by Hashem. But family, we are all about the elect, the remnant. It's not for everybody. The remnant of Israel. Those are the only ones the Lord is looking for. He says here, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches, gotten, gotten, got by deceit. All your riches was gotten by deceit. Hmm? You put decrees in place to take lands away from people. Eh? Remove people from their home. If you know that there's a resources on their land, you remove them. You find a way to kill them and then you mine that land. That's right. The Lord has got everything covered. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. The kingdom is about to be translated from Esau to Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. The Israelites are taken over. Starting from our king, Yahweh Shai is going to set everything in order. Under Yahweh Shai is going to be King David. Yes, King David is coming back in a new body. Yes, in a glorious body. And then the 144,000 governors mentioned in the book of Revelation 14. Family, everything is clear. Yahweh Shai is coming. All praises to our power, Yahweh. And his only begotten son, the redeemer of Israel, the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah, our king, Yahweh Shai, Shalom, beloved. We're going to end it there. Shalom. I hope you edify family. Yeah, so, yeah, the world is calling everything. They're, they're calling the royal family. Yeah, the family, we are not worried. You know, we are not worried because she's been judged by Yahweh Shai. That's right, the so called black man. The Lord says, I judge no one, my son. I've given him everything. Yes. So she, she, her spirit is going to meet Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is going to pass her judgment. And then the third, fourth generation is going to be born back into what? Slavery. All praises to our power, Yahweh Bashem. We are in the last days, family. Make sure you get your house in order. Shalom.